Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about creation of a page in Oracle Apex. Let's understand what are the steps involved in creation of a page. So in Oracle Apex, a page can be a report or a page can be a read-only form or a page can be a DML page, okay? So in our case, in this sample, we are just discussing displaying of data in a report, nothing but a read-only page, we can consider it as, okay? So here are the four steps involved in creation of this particular, I can say a report or a page, okay? So you can assume whatever the way you can. So the first step in this one, what I want to do is, I just want to create a table called XXEMP, upload the data into this particular table and create an application and create a page. So in Apex, we understand that, like if you want to display some data in the page, it has to be from a table or it has to be from a query so obviously a query is always from a table and then it can be from a web service, okay? So could be other sources are available, but in this sample, let's understand that. Let's target to create a table, upload the data and create an application and a page, okay? So now let me show you the navigation of creation of a table. So this particular creation of a table is just employees table in HR schema. If you're, if you're aware of HR schema in Oracle XE database, this is exactly same as that. Okay, why I'm assuming why I'm considering this particular table is this is one of the very interesting table from Oracle when generally we learn database because this database, this particular table has data types of all the data types. I mean to say this this particular table is having columns with all the different data types which we generally come across, like a number, varchar, and date. Okay, of course, Boolean is missing, but generally predominantly these are the things we use, right? So create table. So here, if you want to create a table in this particular Apex, you just need to go to SQL workshop and click on SQL commands. You just need to mention the query and you just need to execute it, okay? So this step will create table. So now the next interesting step is, so upload of data. So you can create the data into the table using insert command or what you can do is, if you want to, let us say you want to upload thousand records in a particular table, this is one of the easiest thing. What you can do is here, if you observe the carefully, the navigation, SQL workshop, utilities, data. Okay, so data. And once you click on that, it have an option called upload data. You just need to select in which table you want to load the data, select the file. Okay, and here we have to mention, once you click on load data, these are the things it will ask you, whether you want to insert the data into a new table or an old table, existing table, I mean, so in the existing table, you just select the existing table. The table owner is nothing but the schema which we are working on and mention the table name. Error table will be created automatically when you select the table, okay? So this will be a new table always. If it is giving an issue, better you just drop the existing error table and mention the new table, okay? So once you load the CSV data, in my case, I just selected a CSV stuff because here if you observe the load data, here it, it supports a different set of formats, right? CSV, Excel, Excel sheet, text, XML, JSON, different set of formats it will consider for that. So based on that, it will automatically analyze the columns, okay? And based on that, you can just simply click on load data. You have a button called load data button, just click on load data. If it is successful, it'll just show a tick mark saying that data got loaded. So now, so these are the steps involved in creation of a table as well as loading of data. Now the next interesting step, the major important step which we are looking on is creation of a page. So in Apex, the creation of a page involves two steps because the hierarchy is that every page should have an application, okay? So that's the reason we have to create an application, then you have to create a page, okay? So in earlier samples, maybe if you have seen my first video on the Hello World application, so this was the thing which we discussed, but here again, we'll discuss about creation of application. So what you do is click on App Builder, and click on create button and select new application, mention the application name. So by default, there are a few set of pages which will get created by when you create an application. Just go with the default, don't get into deeper details in the initial, uh, what you say, initial learning. Later on, you'll get more clarity, okay? So as of now, assume that, go with the default, just mention the application name, EMP application, and then, here, if you, yeah, once you click on mention the application, the next step is application will get created. The next step is creation of a page, right? So go to the app builder, select the application. You have, when you click on your application, 
the existing application it will provide a button called create page so in that create page click on the create page button it will mention it will ask you to mention what kind of page you want to have you want to create there are a lot number of around 15 it supports or maybe more than that so majority of them like it depends upon the functionality which you want to achieve so in our case i just selected classic report mention the page name okay go with the default click on next now so here it is asking what is a source right so in the reports if you are from ebs background or maybe any reporting background okay always reports will have a three things which you need to consider right your data model layout and the output format so data model is nothing but from which particular object or a database you want to retrieve the data right so in this particular case, the report, the report which we want to create, it is asking us to mention what is a data source. Data source or data model, generally we assume same. It can be different in other technologies, but generally in Oracle, data model or data source, we generally consider the same. So data source here, if you observe, I was telling you, right? Like data source, it can be a three things here. Local database, REST enabled SQL service or web source, okay? So now in our case, let's go with local database, nothing but the data the table which we want which we create right that is what the table which we want to use in our report now so source type it can be table or a sql query right so when you select table what happens is by default it will select all the columns let us say if you want to have some restriction on the data which table which uh, the data to be considered you can just click on select query sql query and mention the query appropriately okay and once that is done once you click on create automatically here if you observe the set of columns which are available in the table will be created in this particular content body region, right? The report one here is, it is showing, right? The report one. So this is the name I mentioned here, employee data, database, uh, employee details report. So this is the name which will get displayed when you run the report. So this report one, what is showing the content body? So this is the, this particular region is the one which is displaying this particular table data, okay? So here, once you click on report one and you can expand the columns and you can delete the columns, whichever you want, you can perform a formatting, you can apply the CSS, a lot number of things you can do it, but at this point, let's ignore and just go with the default step. Next step, so you just have an arrow, click on this arrow mark and run the report, that's it. So this is how it will get displayed. So I'll just show you how do you, how do you, did I run the report, I mean, the same steps i'll just try to log into my apex instance and try to run it okay so once you log into apex.oracle.com you can just click on sign in so mention the appropriate credentials okay if you don't have it just create a workspace and now so here i'm at this step so there are only two things which we discussed in this particular demo i builder as well as sql workshop the first step was sql workshop click on sql workshop and here here if you observe there are, there are five things which are provided so the first thing what we want to do is we want to create our table right so you have to go with sql commands so click on sql command so you here just mention the query the table whichever table you want to create it let us i'll just create a new table create table xxdept i'll just say department number and d name varchar to 150 okay so this step will allow me to create a table right done so now what i can do is i can insert the data using the csv file or i can just insert like this also let us say insert into xxdpt values 10 comma accounting so this is this way also we can do it right if you have a larger number of values what you can do is simple very simple so you can just simply create a Excel sheet, I mean CSV file or Excel sheet, whatever way you're comfortable, you can do that way. Let us say physics, 30 chemistry, 40 biology, 50 social. Okay. Let's say this is my department data. I mean department departments. Okay. I'll just save it as dpd.csv. Now the file got created. What you can do is Go to SQL Workshop, click on Utilities, click on Data Workshop. So here if you observe, there are four set of formats it allows, but generally it is pretty much easy for us to create a CSV file. Okay, click on Data Workshop, and see here, you have a different set of options. Click on Load Data. It is asking to select a file. I'll select my file, dpd.csv. It analyzes and it should identify the columns. 
yeah here if you observe the first column it is considering it as a the first like here if you observe right so i mean i have not mentioned the column name right that's a mistake what you can do is let us say your source data is not having any of the column names as a first row we can just uncheck this one so automatically it will consider the appropriate way okay so now i click on existing table what was the table name xxdpt select the table name so here if you observe the error table will be mentioned automatically okay go with the default nothing to change click on load data column mapping is missing yep so what we can do is click on preview column mapping so it is so this un unmapped so that's a that's a problem right so if your data had a proper column name this would have been very pretty much easy so unless it like made it complicated but it's okay we can solve it so department number department name save it let's try again okay let's try cool done so now the data got created right i'll just simply click on cancel i don't want to go further step here now i'll just click on cancel i'll go to sql workshop i just want to see my data now sql command select star from xx dpt what you can do is rather than navigating to each and everything again you can just try to open the same thing in a new new window so it will become easy for us to navigate rather than always navigating okay So now in this we would see the data right it's okay now go to app builder so let's create an application so here if you have see when i click on app builder it shows the list of applications which are already available okay so i'll just create a new application from scratch now click on create application so here you have a different set of options again click on new application so i'll just mention x6 or else i'll just say department application okay i don't want to consider any other changes i'll go with the default Hit application it just takes a couple of seconds done so now once you click on create application here you can observe your application name you'll have an application id also but just consider like when you are trying to create a page right always observe in which application you're creating a page so click on create page now yeah this is like it provides lot number of types of pages which are available let's go with a very simple one i'll go with the report in the report again you have a different set of options i'll go with classic report because simple is always the best dpt details report click on next go with the default next now here it it is asking what kind of stuff like from which source you want to select it right so i'll select the dpt1 yeah it is x6 dpt select the table click on create right the report got created successfully and here if you observe this one right this is a major important section which is having the information so i'll just mention the name as department details report done click on save now we can click on this particular button which runs our report so initially first time it will ask you to log in again okay that's it so this is how we can design a very simple report okay thank you